This is the news in brief from the United Nations. UN Rights Chief Volker Turk has reiterated increasingly urgent calls for a humanitarian ceasefire to allow life-saving relief to reach Gaza, as well as the release of all hostages taken from Israel and a sustainable end to the nightmarish situation for those trapped in the enclave. Here he is addressing journalists in Amman, Jordan, at the end of a five-day visit to the region. I just got off the phone with a colleague of ours, my staff in Rafa, who had to rush out of Gaza City with his wife, who is seven months pregnant, his two young children and other family members, when buildings around him were destroyed by Israeli bombardments. His children, aged nine and seven, are asking him questions he does not know how to answer. Why is this happening to us? What did we do? Mr. Turk's comments came amid fresh reports on Friday morning that a yard at the Al-Shifa hospital in Gaza City, where thousands of displaced Palestinians were sheltering, had been hit. The UN rights chief stressed the need to stop the violence, guarantee the safety of humanitarian workers, and make sure that Gazans have enough to eat and clean water to drink. There should also be accountability for perpetrators of gross rights violations and justice for the victims, in line with international humanitarian law, Mr. Turk insisted. In Sudan's Darfur, the UN Refugee Agency has expressed alarm on Friday over reports of continued sexual violence, torture, arbitrary killings and targeting of specific ethnic groups amid escalating fighting. UNHCR said that more than 800 people have been reportedly killed by armed groups in Ardamata, West Darfur, which until now had been less affected by the conflict. Close to 100 shelters in a camp for internally displaced people in the area have been razed to the ground and extensive looting has been reported, including of relief items. Twenty years ago, the world was shocked by the terrible atrocities and human rights violations in Darfur. We fear a similar dynamic might be developing, said UN refugee chief Filippo Grandi. He called for an immediate end to the fighting and unconditional respect for the civilian population by all parties. More than 4.8 million people have been displaced inside Sudan since fighting broke out in April, and a further 1.2 million have sought safety in neighboring countries. UNHCR said that over 8,000 people have fled into Chad in the last week alone, and that together with Chad's government and partners on the ground, it is preparing for more arrivals of refugees there. In Myanmar, more than 2 million people are now internally displaced nationwide, while a combination of active conflict, monsoon floods and barriers to aid deliveries is worsening the humanitarian situation, UN humanitarians said on Friday. The UN Humanitarian Affairs Coordination Office, OCHA, said that the vast majority of those displaced, 1.7 million, were forced from their homes due to violence and insecurity since the 2021 military takeover. Many have had to flee multiple times, eroding their coping capacity with each move. According to Ocha, a recent flare-up of violence in northern Shan state between ethnic armed organizations and the Myanmar armed forces has displaced almost 50,000 people within the past two weeks. Ocha said that people on the move are enduring precarious conditions, often seeking refuge in the jungle without proper shelter. Meanwhile, relentless monsoon floods, especially in the southeast, have caused severe damage to agriculture. Humanitarians continue to face access constraints across the country due to ongoing military operations and refusals to grant travel authorizations in addition to monsoon constraints. The UN Aid Coordination Office warned that while almost half the country's population is estimated to be living in poverty and nearly 13 million people face hunger, the humanitarian response in Myanmar remains critically underfunded. Only 28% of the required $887 million has been received to date. Dominika Tomaszewska-Mortimer, UN News.